guys, welcome to uh, my Monday evening stream. My first day, I realized I forgot to turn TV off. My first day in my new set schedule. Fantastic, I'm very excited. Um, oh, my page is unresponsive, that's weird. I'm having some internet issues. It doesn't look like the streaming has been affected at all. Um, but I, yeah, so if you see, if I'm lagging, if there's issues, let me know because I was playing with it for a few minutes, but I think I got it. Uh, I started the stream a little early today, about 30 minutes early, because I've got a lot to get done and I was ready to stream. So I'm still gonna go to eight o'clock. Uh, I'll just stream for a little extra time today. So, hi. And hey, Girlybot, how are you today? Now, if you guys that pop in early, um, if you arrive before I actually start the stream where it just says starting soon, feel free to spam some emotes because the emote layer is over top of the, um, of the starting soon layer. Because I figured that'd be fun if you guys wanted to put some emotes before or after. It's funny because we got our fourth follow just as I was ending the stream for Cullen's workshop. So we actually got the emote explosion over top of my, you know, thanks for joining me, you know, check me out kind of thing for YouTube. So I thought that was funny. Um, oh, I didn't turn my machine on. Let me get that going. So today's stream, uh, I did work on White Mage a little bit. All I did was iron the strips that I had sewn on yesterday's stream and then repin them for another pass. So these are still the first six rows. Didn't get far. Uh, I'm gonna try to get as far as I possibly can today. And yes, I have a new chair. I played with a bunch of stuff. So this, if you didn't see it on my Facebook, this is the new arrow sewing chair that I actually gave one away on my Facebook Live because they let me give one away and then I couldn't, I just, I loved it. I, I couldn't let it go. Um, the other herb chairs that I have are just as nice, but they're not hydraulic. This one is hydraulic. All right, I think that's, let me fix it again. Yep. And the other ones, even though they have wheels, they, the wheels are stationary and this one spins. So it'll actually be easier for me to work on stuff, turn, do things. I'm a little bit more mobile on this chair. So if you see me kind of do this back and forth, it's something I have always done on chairs like this. I love it. It's fantastic. Um, I also fixed my, my defend on my OBS. So my home computer now has a defend. So if we get raided, we can now defend ourselves. Um, oh, hey, that camera is not active. Let's see, that is the ironing board camera because that is not what is on there right now. There we go. Nice. Okay, so I'm just gonna get into it. I am going to start sewing and doing them. So how is everyone out there doing this evening? And this is my cutting gizmo from Gypsy Quilter. It allows me to separate my chaining at a fast pace. So this is the last row that you saw me do yesterday. So you can see the next step of how I iron it and then move it along. Oh, fantastic. I was just watching Jenny. I was um, lurking onto Jenny Nitz's channel. I have a love-hate relationship with yarn. I love yarn. Absolutely love yarn. I can't get it to do anything for me for the life of me. I can't knit. I can't crochet. I just, I just, I can't get it to work. I don't have that skill. I don't, I've tried but I can't get it to work. So last row, 
This is how I make sure that everything's always in the same order. So I take this and I lay it down right to left. Let me turn my iron on. There we go. And then whenever you're ironing, I iron everything up. Now this one, my seams are pointing down. So this is my seam right here and it's pointing down. In fact, I'll show you a close up of that. And what this does is it tells me that this is correct. This is facing the right direction because as I iron these, I'm gonna be ironing them straight up. And then now that seam that was pointed down is now pointing up. And then yesterday I talked about making about ironing the seams in different directions to make sure you get perfect points. If you line it up correctly, you see that perfect point, how it is, and this is what I was talking about with perfect points, is that your seams line up perfectly on there. I usually bend it to my wheel. So is it, is it like what I tell people with quilting? Whenever people to ask, hey, how do you do that? I say magic, a little bit of magic, lots of patience. Oh, and I forgot to count my pieces. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I counted, I have to count my pieces and why is this not updating with chat? Hmm, let me restart my app. Okay, let's see if that works now. Um, I have to make sure that I have an even number whenever I'm piecing those. And my one little one out here made eight. <laughs> Stupid persistence, yes. And I think that was my problem with yarn, was that I didn't, I wasn't persistent enough. So whenever I first moved to Canada, I, um, I was the replenishment manager. So I was in charge of the stock at a Michaels and I would put out all of this yarn every single day and I just fell in love with it. Hey, Usa. And I just fell in love with the yarn. So I told myself, okay, you know what? I wanna learn how to crochet or knit. So I asked Nicole, my business partner to teach me. So I bought all of this yarn and I went to her house and I sat down and she started to teach me. An hour later, I still couldn't get it and my loops weren't going. And so I, oh wait, oh no we didn't. I, got, I forgot to reset that, sorry. I apologize Usa, I didn't mean to tease you. I forgot to hit the reset button before I started streaming. There we go. I'm sorry. I still love you. <laughs> um, yeah, cause we got four yesterday and then I got two this morning. So I just hit, I just forgot to hit reset. So we're sitting there for like a whole hour and I just couldn't get it. I couldn't get the crochet at all. And so I threw it down. I'm like, I'm done. I can't, I can't get this. I don't understand it. I'm done. And she looked at me, she goes, that's it? You're not gonna, I'm like, nope, nope. Because with quilting, I picked it up right away. Like I immediately understood it. With cross stitch, I picked it up right away. I immediately understood it. So for me, I get very frustrated if I go to learn something and I don't get it right away. So that is why I cannot use yarn. Although I want to. Okay, did I bump that or is it playing around? All right, so I remounted the dog camera to try to get a better angle. I actually, cause I kept hitting the tripod. I actually used my, I don't remember the name of the mount, but it's one of those, oh, it's a gorilla. It's the gorilla ones that kind of like grab and claw and it's grabbing onto the bottom of my desk, like right there. Let me see. Okay. 
So you got my legs in there. Because I want to, I want you guys to get a better picture of the dogs. And I think I bumped it with my knee again because it was like pointing like way down. All right, so I've got that. Let's turn the cat cam back on because the cat's actually in her perch. So speaking of cats, we have been thinking as a family for the past couple of months if we want to get another cat for Marley. Because as you guys know, he always tries to play with the cat. And he gets very upset when the cat doesn't play with him. So we're like, you know what? Let's see if we can get a cat that will actually, you know, pay attention to him and actually play with him a little bit. Now, I realize cats aren't going to fetch. They're not going to... But they will wrestle with a dog depending upon the cat and the dog. And he loves cats. He loves animals. So we finally found one over the weekend um, at a rescue. The description says that he loves to play with dogs. So we put a nap in for him. So we will see. So if my phone rings while I'm streaming, which is a possibility, I may answer it and answer the questions because, you know, we're trying to get another animal. So we'll see. We'll see if it happens. I know Hestia would be fine. Hestia just basically ignores all the animals. <gasps> Treats! They, they heard it. They heard that sound and they go. <laughs> Hi. Okay. Let's turn on the doggy oh look at marley's blocking the camera all right guys in the bed over in the bed come here over in the bed in the bed no over here guys sit in the bed come here guys we did this yesterday just fine sit Soleil. come here turn around right here turn around sit uh, alfred <laughs> they're so excited uh, uh, come here sit look at me Look, ready? There we go. Okay, now, now that we've got you in there, there we go, just a little bit. Oh yeah, you can see them better, as long as Marley's not blocking the camera. Okay, there's Marley's. Okay, Marley, go away. There's Soleil's, and there's Alfred's. All right, come here, baby boy. I wanna fix the camera. Because you guys didn't sit for me earlier. Yes, they are very happy. Maybe I should put it back a little farther. Do I have anything to attach it to farther back? Maybe. I'll figure it out. I might play with it later. So, yeah. Doggies are very happy. Thank you very much for the bits. Come here. Look, I've got a, I've got a Benny bone for you. You don't want to chew the Benny bone? Come here, Alfred. I know. I love you guys. What is this? Is this a Benny bone? Yeah, we like those, don't we? You want to come be cute for us for a bit? You want to come sit and chew the Benny bone? Yes, you're a good boy, aren't you? So Alfred loves, loves, loves laying in beds, but he also likes to burrow underneath blankets. So if I had a blanket there, that he would stay there the entire time because he would burrow underneath of it but you wouldn't be able to see him. So there's actually a blanket right over there that's over top of a bed that he actually goes over there and hangs out sometimes. So you're very cute. I'll keep the camera there as long as you're there. Yes, you're a good boy, aren't you? Are you my baby? Yeah, you're a good boy. So yeah, so we are looking at a cat. Where was it? Oh, there we go. Well, Streamlabs is somewhat back up. I couldn't get it to update all of the followers and um, and subs and things like that. So I've got Stream Elements up showing me. But obviously it's working for the linking because that's what I've got the sound 
on for the dogs so they know whenever they get them. Nope, so Lay's left us. Alfred, now you're being like the cat. You know that's not polite. Oh, animals. Now one of them's upstairs playing with a toy. I can hear it squeaking. So if we do get this cat, he is a gray and white, and he's almost six months old. So he's still a kitten. And I do not know why he is in rescue. I imagine that he was found as a kitten, but I don't know. Thanks, Raptor. Thanks for hosting the stream. How are you today? You guys just like watching the emote explosions. <laughs> but that's perfectly fine. That's why I've got them in place. Because we like, we like the emote explosions. Now, in this case, I have um, all of my pieces are actually have the seams facing to the up. So what I want to do in this case is I'm going to flip my piece over so my seams are pointing down. And then I know I'm ironing it in the right direction. And this is to the right. No, this is the top one. This is to the left. Oh, no, it's to the right. That's right. Okay, because I'm going to do this and then, okay. Confusing myself, right? So in the case where I have three pieces, I'm going to... Pin the left. Yes, give him kisses. That's a good brother. I know you love him. He's gnawing on his foot, trying to get Alfred to play with him. See, and this is why we need a cat for Marley. He just came over to, to Alfred and just started chewing on his foot like, come on, come on, play with me. Now in this case, the seams are already pointing down, so I just want to lay them down right to left. And then pick them up left to right. And this is going to the left, and I have one on top already. Hey, Hyper Zen Girl, thanks for the hosting. I appreciate it. The the emote explosion is everywhere. Now I am going to sew this one right away because I want to free that last one so I can do the entire pass all together. Thank you. 
And I know everyone here knows, but just to remind you... That uh, giveaway for the five new follows, that's each five follows. So it actually happened a couple of times at TwitchCon, where I got 10 or 15 follows in a day. So I did two or three giveaways. So every time we get five new follows, I will do a giveaway as soon as we hit that point. For everyone watching at that moment for my scrap fabrics. Now I'm going to try my hardest. to the right to get through this today, but there is a high likelihood that I won't. So if I don't get through it, um, my plan is to then get everything done except for uh, sewing all of the strips together tomorrow during the day, because tomorrow evening I have a special guest that's going to be bringing a bunch of t-shirts that she wants me to turn into a t-shirt quilt. So we need to have my space basically cleared up for that. But after we go through and do her stuff, we're either then going to get started on her quilt because she's going to be with me, or I will have her help me finish this one. Okay, one, two, three, four. This is to the left. You guys are very cute. And now he's gnawing on his ear. <laughs> but it's it's funny. It's like one of those slow bites, like the like he's being very gentle about it. But he's trying to get him to play with him. I like that you guys are doing that right there. You're very cute. is to the right. Oh, I'm like, why is it so quiet? I didn't put the music on again. I am so bad about that, aren't I? but not least one two three four you're very cute okay this is to the left Now some of these have already been pinned as threes. There's only two more rows that need another pass. And I call them passes every single time I basically run the whole row, the whole line through the sewing machine. So whenever you hear me say that it needs one or two more passes, that's what I mean about going through all of these rows. 
and sewing them together. All right, you get it back up, Marley. I updated my commission spreadsheet today. So it is now up to date and accurate. I was able to finish a bunch of them off. And the commission I'm taking tomorrow for the t-shirt quilt, I'm not guaranteeing until February. So the next commission I take after that, I won't guarantee until March. This is right here. I'm not used to the spinning. All right, now I did an even number of rows because now I want to group it up. So this row and this row are actually going to get pinned together to actually help speed along my row assembly. So this one has two sides, so it's a three-piecer. This one only has two pieces, so I'll put the three-piecer in first. Sew this one, and then I'll flip it around and sew the other side. These two are going to get pinned together. This is to the right. Marley. Hi, I know, I love you, baby. <laughs> You're very cute. I like how Alfred looks up at me like, but but am I am I gonna get something? You know what? No, it's not gonna be oh. What if I hang it from my mic stand? So that'll get it higher up. Ooh, okay. If you have vertigo issues, don't close your eyes. We're gonna try something new. Oh, here, better yet. There you go. Okay. And hang it from the mic stand, because I'm not going to move the mic at all. And of course the dogs move. <sighs> Oops. There we go. All right, someone come here. 
Marley. Come here. Marley. <gasps> come here. Okay, come here, Alfred. <gasps> come here, guys. No, I'm not giving you anything. You're just very cute. Okay, here. Oh, yeah, that's much better. I know. <laughs> hey, leave him be. He doesn't want to play right now. I know. You guys are very cute. Hey. I know. Yeah, I like that one a lot. All right, so we've got the new doggy cam. Yay. Fantastic. Marley, let him, I know, he doesn't, honey, look, he doesn't want to play right now, no, he wants to go cuddle, can you cuddle with him, I know, yeah, I know, you're very cute, you're very cute, yes, you are, okay, back to work. This is then to the left. You guys are quiet in chat today. Everyone must be working hard at crafting or doing something. Oh, Soleil, she's upstairs. Soleil is a very standoffish dog. Um, ever since she was a puppy, she does, she plays, but not really for long. Like she'll play for a few minutes and that's it. And she'll play when she wants to play. Um, she does, oh, that's the only thing about the key that is when I bump the table, it moves the camera. Um, and she is, doesn't really play with the other dogs at all. Like she's just, she doesn't mind them. She loves people, but she just doesn't really play too much. working hard at stuffing your face. Uh, I like that. Yeah, and if when you get your hat done, girly bot, I want to see a picture. I'm going to have to go into lurk mode soon. Oh, you're getting a car. All right. When you're done with your car, I want to see a picture. Because you, you, okay. I live vicariously through all you people. I like, I like pictures. And lurk mode is totally fine. You get your quilt coins. And I know that's what you care about, Usa. Marley. Yeah, you can see Marley a little bit next to him. I don't know what you're doing, but you're very cute. Okay, so I have my first two rows done. Alright, so here is row one. A black one? Other than that, I have no clue. <laughs> nice. Now, this one, the seams need to go to the left. And I did that wrong. That is not how that row is supposed to look. This is why I made sure my seam ripper was out. And 
Eh, it happens all the time, girly bot. This is actually one of the reasons why I started streaming is because when I came out with my pattern line, people would look at it and go, oh, that's way too complicated. I couldn't do it. I would make mistakes. I make mistakes almost on every single quilt. It happens. If you don't make mistakes, you'd be strange. Everyone makes mistakes, especially on crafting. So yeah, I'm used to it. Which is why I have the most amazing seam ripper in the entire world. It's so amazing, I buy a whole box of them, just in case. Okay, so I wanna make sure this is perfect now. So the seams to the left, seams to the left. Yep, and that looks right. Yeah, if you don't know anything about USA, and if uh, someone that does know about cars says it's a good one, I see nothing wrong with that. Hi. Looks like they have moved on, so let's, oh, let's go back to the cat cam with the sleeping cat. I have a Ford Fusion and a Ford F-150. I'm a Ford girl. I didn't realize I was a truck girl either until I got the F-150. A friend of mine said it's because I'm short. Apparently, us short girls have complexes so that we like to be in the big trucks. Okay, there we go. Now, what I'm doing now is I'm lining it all up and making sure that everything looks good. See, the moment that I put this row down, that's when I realized something was wrong. So now everything lines up, it's good. So I'm gonna take the bottom, flip it over to the top, and just like I did when I was putting the rows together, I am going to find the seams. I'm going to nest them and pin it in place. So I'm moving along. So here is the first seam where I have two seams together. So I'm going to pin that in place. And then I'm going to move backwards to pin the edges. So that's all I'm doing is moving all across, finding where the seams meet, and then finding when there's just a single seam and pinning that in place. It's important, even though the seams are on the other side that I pin this, because I don't want the seams to flip up as I'm sewing it, because that's gonna add extra bulk to the back of my top, which will make it harder to, um, uh, to quilt. Born and raised Chicago, oh yeah, snow's good. Oh, hey, Two Wolf, I didn't even see you pop in there earlier. Yeah, I live in Canada. I can drive in snow. Oh, before I forget, um, Two Wolf and Raptor. Um, look at the little bouncing Bustifer. Uh, hi, Bustifer. And oh, and Bustifer, this is for you too, because aren't you? Uh, I, um, I was gonna aim it at my mods, but this would be good for you too because you mod for Imperial Girl. Um, I interviewed with a lovely woman today that's writing a research paper um, for her university about the relationship between streamers and their viewers. And so I, it was only supposed to be an hour. I think we were on the phone for like two hours today going through everything because she just had more and more questions because I'm a little different than a lot of streamers because I've been doing this for eight years and this is my business that I am now streaming. So it's a little different approach. Um, so after we finished and we were chatting for a bit, she wants the view of a moderator. So she wants to talk to a couple of moderators just to see how they view the streamer viewer relationship. So if um, any of you mods are interested, pop me a whisper and then I'll reply back with her email address and the info or no better yet 
whisper me your email address and then I'll forward you her email with all the information so that if you have any in so if you if you want to do it you can contact her points at Quebec's drivers <laughs> okay I have never driven in Quebec so I do not know if they are good or bad I know here in Ontario they're pretty decent right next to Quebec border and we get a few bad ones in our roads yeah like I said I don't know about Quebec drivers all right so I've got my first two rows are all pinned together so I'm gonna take this I can't show you in this stream because I have the way I've got this set up with the dog bed and with the microphone um, I have a clothing rack set up right here just out of my reach where I'm gonna be taking this and hanging it on the clothing rack I find clothing racks to be the best way to keep my um, to keep my strips in order and it's especially when I make two quilts when I make more than one quilt at a time I can then separate it out at that point and nightmare to dry oh snowbirds are horrible oh yeah it must be a nightmare to drive in the winter Nova Scotia hey iron bands Graham so, and for those of you that don't follow Iron Bandsgram, you need to go follow her because I won her 200 follower giveaway today. Super excited. I am going to get a Sugar Skull quilted postcard. I'm so excited. I can't wait to get it. So super excited. Yay. Ooh, okay. I want to see. Let me see the link. Oh, that is awesome. Is that an Elizabeth Hartman pattern? I haven't seen that one. With the plants? Oh, that's super cool. Like, I've got all of her animal ones. I didn't realize she had a plant one. I like it a lot. That is awesome. I've done those, oops, sorry. I didn't mean to turn on that light. It's too, it's too bright for you guys. It like washes everything out. So on my pattern over here that you can't kind of see, I'm gonna cover up those two rows that I just pinned so I can just see the two rows I'm gonna be working on. <gasps> I don't know if, oh, it's just released. How did I not see, oh, you know what? I bet they, they were, I bet she was selling it at fall market and I missed it. All right, I'm gonna have to look at that. And no, I don't know if you showed me your kitten. Let me see, if, let me see pictures. I wanna see pictures. Even if I have seen your cat before, your kitten, I wanna see pictures. So Iron Bands Graham, I was talking about how we are thinking of getting another cat for Marley because Marley has so oh wait did I just do this I did this wrong man what is my problem today okay so this one I am making all sorts of mistakes. So anyway, so we are looking for a cat. 
to be a companion for Marley because he just has so much energy. He wants to play, play, play. And you know how much he wants to try to play with the cat. So we put an app in today for a rescue kitten. Nope, you don't need permit. Just copy paste. I don't have any issues on there. And plus you're a mod raptor. You can do what you want. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see kitten. Oh, I like how it's so blurry in all that pictures because it's a kitten and it won't sit still. Oh my gosh, look at that face. Oh my gosh, look at the face. Oh, oh my gosh, that is so stinking adorable. Okay, and this is going to go this way. So, here's my problem. This should not be on this. Apparently, I added the end of another row onto the onto this row, which happens. Yeah, and this goes for anybody. If you want to share pictures of cats or dogs or any animals you have, please feel free. I like having pictures of lots of animals. Why is my phone beeping? Oh my god. My husband is reminding me to not click links on the iPad, only the computer. Like, I need to re be reminded of that, right? Plus, I can see them better on the computer. I like how he, ha he felt the need to send me a message to remind me. But that's okay. He works in IT, so he gets a pass. And I haven't seen him for almost two months. So he can be a little overprotective. He gets a pass. All right, I have no clue where that goes. So I'm just gonna set it right there. Oh, don't click on PC, only iPad? Why, okay, you realize, okay, I'm gonna have to turn the sound off. Why should I click links on the iPad and not the PC? It looks better on the PC. He is so cute. Oh my gosh. I know, right? Well, no, no, he wants me to do it on the iPad, not the PC. Apparently I got it backwards, but he's not telling me why. I, oh, because the iPad can't get viruses. Cause apparently you guys, he's being his IT overprotective self. That's what it is. Okay, let me see if I can find a picture of the cat. Oh yeah, Iron Band's grandma's agreeing, okay. Let me see if I can find a picture of the cat that we applied for today. Um, no, we may not get it because they may go, oh my gosh, you have three dogs and a cat. You have too many animals. No, but you never know. Hey, what happened? Let me go back and see. I just see an explosion. Hey, S Samuel's Creations. Thanks for hosting the stream. I appreciate that. Fantastic. Okay, so here. So that's the link to the three cats that are in this one foster home. We applied for the one on the left. His name is Ash. So he's a gray and white. So yeah, so that's the one that I put the app in for today. So I'm just waiting for a phone call for an interview. But like I said, we may not get him. And if we don't get him, it's because we have too many animals already. 
Okay, let's pin these two rows. Yeah, no, and it's it's hard to have animals if you're constantly traveling. We almost always have someone here. If Mike is traveling, it's normally because I'm home. If I'm traveling, he's home. It's only maybe once or twice a year that we travel together. And when that happens, we have his father check on the cats daily or check on the cat. And Soleil and Marley go to his dad's house and Alfred either comes with us or he goes to someone else's house. Why are you done with cat's iron bands, Graham? <laughs> I giggle because I, I actually said I was done with cats for a while and then Hestia adopted us and now I'm all like, We've had for her for three years. Yeah, I could do another cat. <laughs> I am doing fantastic, Samuel's Creations. How are you? They kept using quilts on the front. Yes. This is why when I redesigned my studio for streaming, I made, I did it in a way so the cat is not on my stuff. Everything is on bookcases and the cat is not on them. So there's no hair on them. Um, yeah, no, but I could totally, cause your, um, your frame that you use, I could totally see the cats laying on that. Oh, nice. <laughs> see, that was the thing with the cats. It's. Okay, if you want the cats, I am not going to be the only one taking care of them. Although, if we get a second cat, I'm totally buying one of those self-cleaning litter boxes. Because then it can justify the expense. So, Samuel's Creations, is it... Because I haven't played it at all yet. Is it fun? The uh, Friday the 13th game? One Rottweiler, two mixed breeds, three cats, two fish tanks... Yes. That's like the house I grew up in. Oh, You had five cats. Aww. Yeah, no, that cat looks adorbs. Absolutely adorable. Okay, so let's see if I can figure out. Hmm. You know what? I think I just put down two extra. I don't think I messed it up. I think I just had two extra. Okay, because on this side, I've got one full and a half. And a half. Yeah, no, I, I put down two extras. Great, so I've got two already sewn together. Fantastic. Okay. I... Oh. Oh, one day they got caught a fishing net. Wow. The, uh... See, you guys are like all these exciting things. Um, the cat to use a toilet. I had a friend of mine who did that. She trained her cat to use the toilet. And this cat would use the toilet. No litter boxes. It was the weirdest thing. So, Iron Bands Grim, you said stay over oh, great for a while, then stop. Oh. I was about to ask why, why do, should I save my money? But if you say that they work for a while and stop, I'll do some research because I think there's a couple on Amazon that may work. I don't know. A baby seal. 
That's funny. That is that is awesome. That's like my aunt. We had I had the crazy aunt that would always have like wild animals in her house. So she had like a raccoon one time. Yeah, I think she had a possum. I don't know. She had so many animals growing up. going to the left. This one's going to the right. Okay, let's see. This lines up. All right, I'll see you later, Usa. I know you may still be on and off and you're just going to be in lurk mode, but have fun getting a car. I want to see pictures. You had a coon too. Oh, nope, I'm going to my bobbin. Thank you. Thanks for uh, for giving me that, uh, that sweet bobbin on your way out. I just got a message from my mother. They're thinking about keeping their foster dog that they have right now. Oops. Oh, apparently I didn't sew this side, and I thought I did. Now you notice with the chaining, instead of putting in a scrap, I am get a green one. Well, no, she said it was black. That's all she. That's all she knew about the car was it was black. Um, instead of putting in scraps, I'm putting in the rows that are already pinned together. I had a friend who died. Oh, the poor kitty cat. The poor kitty cat missed his owner. That's sad. Yeah, you see what my cat normally does. So did you take the cat, Raptor? Okay, I'm gonna have to get used to this we, this uh, chair that has the circular motion on wheels. And I'm looking to make sure it all works. Yep, it's all good. Yeah, that's what you were saying the other day too. Well, one of these days, you will either live in a building that allows animals or you will have your own home and you can make your own decisions. I'm getting cold again. It's freaking house. I'm in the basement, which is great in the summertime because we don't have any AC. But in the winter, it gets really cold down here. Hi, 
Marley. You can you can get in the bed and eat your chewy if you want. Do you like chewies? Here. See? You have a chewy. You can sit and chew it. See, I've never really been a big fish person. I had, my ex-husband really, really liked fish and he really wanted to get like one of those really big, cool aquariums. And I was all like, eh. Okay, so first six rows are done. On to row seven. Yeah, I'd do it for this one. I was looking to see if there's a row with a whole bunch of pieces that I could just put this on. But I'll put it on this one. Okay, and then black and brown towards the brown. A black and brown small one going this way. Black, black and white, yeah, yes, so you know exactly what I mean, it's like freaking cold. <laughs> Yeah, see, for me, it's just, I just haven't been a fish person. I've been all like, it doesn't matter how easy or hard it is to take care of. It's just, it's fish. Towards the black, so we need to go towards the black because my seams need to go in opposite directions. Okay, and a black, three and a half. A... Red two. Red and white. And white. So I was lurking on Imperial Girls stream today. And it made me realize I really need to take more photos. Like, I never take photos of anything. I need to take more photos. Okay, towards the background. And there, okay. So my seams are all pointing to the right. So I take the piece on the right, flip it over the left and pin it in place. <laughs> That's true. Cena is a uh, very colorful character. Or Cinna. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to remember how it was pronounced. So if I, cinnamon, huh. Oh, for Cinna, I see what you mean, yeah. So if I don't finish this tonight, and if I don't get to it on the stream tomorrow, I will be finishing it up for the Wednesday afternoon stream.
Okay, towards the background. And brown and black. Put the brown up. Brown and black towards the brown. A white. Sorry, I was just looking, I'm like, I'm already running out of pieces. Should I be running out of pieces already? Okay, towards the whites. But I, so far I'm good. And red. Red and white. White. Black. White, okay, and then this goes towards the black, so the next one needs to go towards the black as well, with the black and background, and background, all right, and this one seems to point to the left, so I'm picking the left one up, flipping it over the right, and pinning it in place. Thank you very much. Have a fantastic evening, Iron Bands Graham, and thank you, thank you again for the postcard. I can't wait to get it. I'm super excited. So, and like I said, if you guys haven't followed Iron Bands Graham, yeah, you totally need to do it. Because she's an awesome quilter. problem with wearing a jacket is it keeps like bumping into things and pushing them around. Okay, towards the brown, towards the white. Towards the black, so towards the black. Okay, now in this case, this next one is a horizontal piece I need to sew together. So it is a solid black and a red and white piece towards the white. Just like that. Okay, so I'm gonna do that one going down. So the next one should be a white going towards the white. So I am gonna go ahead and finish laying everything out. And then I'm gonna cheat and look ahead to see if there's any other horizontal pieces in these six rows I need to, um, to sew together. Cause then I'll do it all at the same time. Okay, towards the black. 
and background. Alright. So. Now in this case, I did that a little fast, I should show you. Um, in this case, I want to have the seam pointing down. So what I'm doing is I'm picking up the bottom piece, flipping it up over the top piece, and pinning it in place. If I wanted the seam to go up, then I would have flipped the whole thing over and then pinned it then. So whatever is facing up is the way it's going to get ironed. All right, let's check the next three rows. Yep. Yes, I do have one more in three rows. Okay, so it's going to be a skin and then towards the brown on a black and brown. Okay, in this case, I'm just going to show you the other way of doing it, just so you can see the opposite. So in this case, I'm going to flip it up and then turn it over. So in this case, the seam is going to go toward, it's going to go up instead of going down. Okay, let's sew these. And I did not point it out yet, so I need to make sure I point it out. Do as I say, not as I do. Don't sew over your pins, it's bad. And then I proceed to sew over the pins. So, reasons why you don't want to sew over your pins. Your needle can hit them. You could break the pins, you can break the needle, you can shatter things, you can break your machine. I use cheap machines, I just buy new machines. My machine repair guy loves me. Because my machine's in there a lot. My regular one. The reason why I sew over my pins. Um, I am a little obsessive about making sure that um, things are perfect about my points are perfect and the seams are perfect. And I've learned that whenever I pull the pins out, I shift the fabric and then it, the seam is off. So if I just sew over my pins, I don't have that problem. So that's why I sew over mine. Although you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> you wanna make sure that you don't, uh, yeah, I don't know, I do it. So I can't, I can't really say too much about it. Did I forget to take them off? I did. I'm like, where did my pieces go? I've got green tea in my thermos tonight. I got my nails done today. So when I get my nails done, I get sushi. So when I eat sushi, I have to drink green tea. So I've been drinking green tea all day. And now I've got my two horizontal pieces. Okay, so this one, let me cover up those three rows. This one was this one. Yeah, I love me some green tea. It is very yummy. And it's the, uh, the Gayakura Imperial from um, Tivana. I'm still trying to find a good source of the Gayakura tea, the Gayakura green tea because of course Tivan has gone out of business and I can't really go there, but I can still order it online. Miami, Thursday to Monday, and then Monday the 27th to Friday, 
Loot Las Vegas. Oh, that's cool. So what are you going to Miami for? Let's take it one trip at a time. What's in Miami? What are you doing there? Okay, so you're gonna go with your daughter. Okay. Oh, is that the last race of the... See, again, I stopped watching races years ago. Is that the last race of the season? Okay. And then, what are you doing in Vegas? So it's still NASCAR stuff. That's awesome. So you get to go with your daughter. That's really cool. I personally love Vegas. It is a fantastic, magical place. Ooh. Ho hoisha? I can't, yeah, I can't even try to pronounce that word. Roasted green tea. That's, ooh, girly bod. If you've got a link, shoot me a link. That sounds good. I'm gonna have to buy some of that. Like, I love green tea. Like, I really, really, really love green tea. Okay, I think I did not cut enough six and a half inch pieces because I'm running out. It says I need, well, no, I just need three more. How many do I have? I have two more. Okay, let me recount these again and, and look at my totals. Okay, light blue, I said I needed 15. Let me count them again. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. One, two, three, four, Five, six. Eight. Yeah, fifteen. All right, so I must have cut it wrong. All right, so it is absolutely right, and I cut it wrong. Where is I put it right here? No, that's 16, because I have one left. Hmm. <gasps> oh, no, I see what I did. This one, the very beginning, this one right here, I did the same thing, I almost made another mistake. So it's only supposed to have a single one, not two of them. So this I'm actually going to save because there's one way up top that requires two. So yeah, let me do that one. One, two, three, four. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to save that one. Let me put this one out. Look at that. I almost made a mistake and I, fi I found it before I actually made it. Oh, it's not a hyperlink. I can't do it. It won't let me click on it. I'm just going to have to click on it on my computer. Oh. 
Okay. So are, so is it so it's tea bags? Okay, so it's not loose leaf because I'm used to using the loose leaf tea. Okay, I may have to get some and try it out. Awesome, thank you. There we go. Okay, back to what I was doing. Row four. A black piece. I was going to say, I didn't think I cut it wrong. A three and a half brown. White and black towards the black. A... Okay, that's towards the black, so I need to go towards the black with the background. Yeah, I love Amazon. I like, I seem to get everything on Amazon. Okay, towards the white. So I need three of these. There's one, two, three. And in this case, the seam points to the white, points to the black, points to the white. So it's alternating so that those seams are gonna line up perfectly. And then towards the red, with the red and white. And there, so that's towards the black. So black and tan, and I go towards the black. Okay, and seams go to the left. So I'm picking the left piece up over top of the right piece and pinning it in place. So whenever I was first learning how to quilt, someone told me you can never have too many pins. And that is absolutely true. And there, whoops, those seams are both going in the right same direction. Let's make sure that's right. Did I just do something wrong? Nope, I just did something wrong. All right, so let me switch this out for this one. Because sometimes if my seams don't line up, that means that I've flipped something before I've gone to pin it. But in this case, I just put the wrong piece out. So no, I like to get everything on Amazon. In fact, my, I made a, an Amazon list down at the bottom of my page with some of the things that I do. So the machine that I use, um, the thread that I recommend, the needles I recommend, um, things like that, that are all you can find on Amazon or on that list. The, um, the fabric cutter. So if you want an actual fabric cutting system, instead of using a rotary cutter, you, I suggest Sizzix and that's on there. What clips work for what you're doing? Um, depends on the clips. I'm not sure which. So do you mean the clips that I use for my binding? towards the black skin towards the red would not suggest those at all um, because number one you can't so if you decide to use a quarter inch piecing foot with a guide 
it's not going to go up towards the guide. So the moment you get near the guide, you have to take the, cl the, um, the clips off. Um, if you don't use the quarter piece with the guide, you can't get anywhere near your foot with those. They're, they're good for other crafting things, but I would not suggest those for quilting. Um, ones for quilting. I put them in here, didn't I? These are the ones that you need if you decide you want to use ones for quilting. And I don't think they have the brand on them. So you see the difference between, so these are quilting clips versus those clips that you've got. So these clips are flat, so you can sew over top of them, and they have markings on here where this one right here, that very first one, is a quarter inch. So if you don't have a quarter inch with a guide, you basically take these and you put it up to that first one. And then if I sew just in front of this metal piece right here, I know that's a quarter inch seam. So these are the ones meant for quilting. Uh, and then two black and red. So in your case, and those things that I just showed you are pretty expensive. They're not as inexpensive as the ones you picked up, um, but I would just use straight pins. That's what I do for all of my piecing. And they're cheap. Black. Okay, towards the black. This is towards the red, so we need to go towards the background. And then a background piece. So when Iron Bandscram the other day said that she uses clips a lot for all of her stuff, those are the clips that she uses with the guides on there. and the ability to sew over. Okay, towards the background, so I need to go towards skin. Now, I don't know if I've ever mentioned it before in my stream, but if you are ever making a quilt that is of a, a person type person, so whether it is a um, video game character, cartoon character, um, a, a ballerina because you know, there's patterns out there like that you don't have to follow the pattern exactly so for this pattern if i wanted a purple background instead of blue just change the fabric um zeal non is a perfect example of this so she streamed two different quilts of my kirby quilt one that she made in the colors that i suggested and one that was all in these weird crazy colors that i looked it freaking looked amazing so change fabrics, change colors, be, you know, do whatever you want. And then if you're doing like a person type thing, change the skin tone. So if you want your person to be lighter or darker, just get different fabric. So it doesn't matter what the suggestions are, use what you want to use and, and make it yours. Now, that being said, I'm the kind of person I always use the suggestions because I am not creative at all with picking colors. Oh, wait, nope, oh, that's a white and a black, not a white. White and black towards the black. Okay, I'm getting low on these pieces. So, this is a white and a black piece where it the seam is going towards the white, but I needed to go towards the black. So, I'm just gonna re-iron it. So I'm gonna iron the wrong side first, so I'm ironing the seam, and then I'm gonna flip it over and iron the correct, the right side. Yeah, that's what I was talking about with Zeonon. So she made the, the Happy Puff Ball, my Kirby one. The second one was super awesome. I loved it. Okay, and this is towards the right. So I'm gonna pick that fabric up from the right over to the left and pin in place.
and then I have one more row, and then I will start sewing these. And then I think I only have like four more rows to go after I finish these six. It feels like I'm zooming through this quilt <laughs> because I normally make two at a time. four more after this. Okay, here is background. I need to go towards the background with black. Here is my piece that I have already done and I've done it towards the top. So the next one needs to go towards the bottom. So it needs to go towards the black. I need my three and a half blue towards the background, towards the tan, the tan, the single black, tan, okay, and then towards the black with the red and black. Red and white, white, and then the background black towards the black. There we go. Okay, and then seams are pointing to the left, so I'm picking up the left piece over the right piece and pinning in place. I never checked how many I'm at 286 okay so 14 more followers until we get our next pattern giveaway if anyone's noticing but this is one of the reasons why I get my nails done I use my nails to stop the pin so when I put my pin in through the fabric I use my nails to stop it so I know how far I need to go all right and all these six rows are pinned and ready to go so let's start sewing. <sighs> Hi, Marley. Are you adorable? You are. Come here. Look. You don't want to chew the Benny bone? I know. You're just sitting here waiting for more bits, aren't you? Yes, you're very cute. I love you. I'm trying to get you another playmate. I am, and you're very cute. What was I doing? Oh, I was going to get some peanut M&Ms. There's the other dog. She heard me open them, and she jumped down like, oh, What are you doing? Do you have something for me? Is it a T or AT? and put those videos up on YouTube from Friday and yesterday. I'm such a slacker. I 
I need to get that done. There we go. All right. And just like I was talking the other day, how I like to assembly line everything, I will sit and sew all of these first. And then I'll go back and iron and pin them. I am all about speed and efficiency when I quilt. get this. So I was talking about how I have to reapply for my permanent residency status here in Canada. So I paid 50 bucks to a service online that I could easily go through and fill everything out and they would make sure that I have it all correct and then they would actually do all the paperwork for me and then give me a nice PDF that I could then send into the government. So they have a thing where you can put it all in and save it. So I said, okay, fantastic. So I, I basically did all the stuff except for all the times I was out of the country. So in order to get my permanent residency status renewed on the application, I have to say every single time I have ever left Canada, where I went and why. Well, you know how much I travel because of the quilting. So... I started entering all that in. Apparently, the computer program online that I basically paid money to use can only handle 10 trips from Canada because I put it all in there and then I went to process it and only 10 of them showed. So basically wasted my money. So then I had to go back through and do all the paperwork myself. It actually wasn't that hard. I probably could have just figured it out myself to begin with. So apparently I was gone. Do I still have my spreadsheet up? Oh, I do. Okay, I took 57 trips away from Canada in, five, in a five-year period. It's actually not as many as I thought I, I would have. I thought I was in the 60s. curtains down. I put all the windows, I closed all the windows so she doesn't see when animals walk in front of the house. So I have no clue what she's barking at.
<laughs> You're fine. Babe. I'm not going to give you anything. Marley's sitting like right by my feet. Like keeps, every time I move, he keeps like following me. I'm looking around going, I think I heard a tone. I think, I think we get, I think that was bits. So he's made a lot of drastic improvements since I left because he would always, like, he imprinted onto me. So because I'm the one that's home all the time, I'm the one that takes care of them. So while I was on this trip, he apparently warmed up to Mike big time, which is what I wanted. Because I almost brought him with me, but I said, no, he needs to stay here and spend some time with Mike because he needs to get to know him. So he is uh, really, really good with him. Thanks for popping by, girly bot. I super appreciate it. Have a fantastic evening. So I should get done with these rows, if not close to it tonight. And then whatever I don't finish, I will finish tomorrow. But I will not assemble the rows until I stream again. Because that is my favorite part of making quilts, is assembling the rows. to start from the back. There we go. Oh, hey, Nerdy Needle streaming. Fantastic. I was just looking over at my, uh, at my list over there. right to left every single one should already be facing the right direction I'm not gonna have to flip any of these it's the next pass where I'm gonna have to start flipping them I forgot to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, good. Seven. And this is to the right, and that one's eight. I should make my evening streams four to seven instead of five to eight.
I'm just not in the habit again. I gotta get the back in the habit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and this is going to the left. It's super important that I have the uh, seams facing the right direction whenever I do this, because if I don't, just flipping and pinning is not gonna work and I'm gonna mess all the pieces up. Even more so than I messed up the first time, the first pass, the first four days, the first six that I did. Alright, one, two, three, this is to the right, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, there's seven pieces, and there's not an extra one in order to put on there, so I'm going to take this first piece and set it down, and then these remaining six pieces I'm now going to pin together. Oh, I just realized I didn't post anything on my social media today. Shoot. Oh, and I just realized I never actually posted my schedule of my what I'm doing this week on my Twitch. All right, let me do that now. Wait, didn't I change? I changed it. I edited it. Aw, oh, stupid Facebook. Stupid Facebook didn't change, do my changes. <sighs> Edit. Okay, so. You know what? I bet I edited it and then never actually hit publish. Okay, so Monday, November 13 is 5 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I'll post this up so you can see the topics for the rest of the week, too. Um, oops. And then Wednesday. I don't know why I'm typing out the full Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. November 15 is 1 to 4 p.m. Um, I 
And then Friday, Friday is my early morning, 9 a.m. 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. stream. I am going to start my Maleficent quilt. My one of my new masterpiece. <laughs> Marley, no. Okay, so copy all that. Done editing. Okay, now it's showing. Thank you. <sighs> there we go. Post. Okay, I've got my schedule up there. Fantastic. Well, at least you knew times in general for today and tomorrow, right? Awesome. Okay. Back to sewing. Is he? Hey, don't bark at the cat. Sometimes I think he barks at the cat because he gets attention from me scolding him. <gasps> Hi. Really? <gasps> you don't. Oh, wait, come here. You're back. Here, let's play in front of the camera for a minute. Come here. <gasps> come here. Come here, Marley. <gasps> come here. I know. You're a good boy, aren't you? I know. I love you. Is you a good boy? You are. Look. Oh, here comes Alfred. Apparently I said good boy and Alfred says, what are you doing? Do we get things? All right, come here. Come Marley, he doesn't want to play. Honey, honey, he doesn't want to play. I know. He doesn't want to play right now. No, he doesn't. Although you guys are very cute. I know, I love you. Oh, I know, I love you very much. I know. Yes, you're good babies. You're very good babies. And I'm sorry, I'm not giving you anything unless you get bits. Oh yeah, now they're playing. See, Marley just has, yeah, and see, Alfred's like, I don't want to play. He was just looking for, for a, uh, a treat. Okay, Marley. Marley, leave him be. Over here. No, no, you're fine, Alfred. Stay there. You're good. I'm not giving you anything. <sighs> yeah, I have a zoo already, and we're thinking of adding another one. Okay, I think I counted six. Let's recount. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, and so this would be seven. Now this is one, two, three, four. This is to the left. So I'm gonna take this top one, lay it down, and then pin these in place. And then this one is to, I forgot to, I keep forgetting to count. One, I'm getting mad at myself. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.
Okay, and then I'm going to sew this one to free the one that's on the machine. And then after I finish ironing and pinning this last row that I have, I'll go through and sew the rest of the paths. Remember to count this one. <laughs> there are seven. So I'm taking the top one and laying it down and then pinning the other six. Everything sewn. You know, we were so close with that new follower goal yesterday. I was like, I have, after the stream, I was like, oh, we got four, like right at the end of the stream. One more. We would have had a giveaway. See, and I'm home too. So when I do giveaways, they're going to be in the mail the next day. Tomorrow should be fine. I actually haven't seen, so my friend Marlo is coming over. I used to work with her at Michael's. I haven't actually seen, physically seen her in over two years. So it'll be nice catching up and seeing her tomorrow.
she contacted me about the t-shirt quilts and said, hey, I'd, I'd like you to get this done. I'm like, okay, do you want to come over and we'll go through it? Or do you want to come over when I'm streaming and stream with me? She says, uh, I'm going to stream. I'm like, okay. Yep. Looks like my needle is good. That oh, pin is bonked. That's trash. But I broke the thread. Stupid evil thread. I was looking to make sure the um, tension was good, and it is. So my husband and I have started watching Stranger Things, the second one, finally. He was being a good husband and was waiting for me to come home before watching it. So yesterday, after my stream ended, I went up and said, hey, do you want to watch a couple episodes? He says, well, I'm not really in the mood, because he went to play a video game. I said, that's fine. I can go downstairs and work on my uh, permanent resident papers. It's not a problem. So I come down for a couple hours and I work, do some work. I go up about eight o'clock and, and we sit down and, and we started to watch Stranger Things. So we went through two episodes. So I am an early bed person. I like to going to bed by 10. I'm an old woman. So at 10 o'clock, when we finish the second episode, he says, hey, so can we watch another one? I'm like, no! I'm going to bed. I'm not one of those people that will sit up all night watching TV because I can't finish it. Now, I'm really, really looking forward to the next episode, especially because we finished, we stopped it in a really, really interesting place. So you really want to, you know, watch another episode. And then I reminded him, I'm like, you're the one that said you didn't want to watch it at all tonight. He goes, yeah, I know. So after I finish streaming tonight, I'm sure we're going to watch at least one or two more episodes. I think we've gone through four episodes and there's like nine in this season. I know because he checked because he had to see how far through the season we were. So he actually looked it up. I am so far behind on my TV watching. I was looking at my Hulu lineup this morning and there is so much that needs to get watched. I am sure in two weeks, or no, it's next week now is American Thanksgiving. I'm sure I will get all caught up on lots of things during American Thanksgiving week because there's not a lot of new shows that week. Now, I am still going to keep to my stream schedule next week, even though it's American Thanksgiving. So next Thursday on Thanksgiving, I will still be streaming from 1 to 4.
especially because I have a lot I need to get done. Oh, and I did what I promised. I made the introduction of the Bob Ross people to one of the fabric people. Hopefully, they do lots of talking and we get a line of Bob Ross fabric. As I told both of them, I'm like, look, I'm not getting anything out of this. I'm not gonna take a, a fee for having you guys meet. This is all just because I want this to happen. I want there to be Bob Ross fabric. So, so I made the introductions. So hopefully it works. Okay. This is off. So you see... You can actually see it in the camera a bit. You see how it's not perfectly lined up, how it's off a little bit? I'm gonna finagle it a bit so when that happens, you can actually take the thread, you can take the fabric and kind of shift it, try, try to stretch and shift it a bit. Now, of course you can always undo it and re-sew it, but I'm gonna shift it a little bit so it's not quite as obvious. Hey, Crocotuck, how are you? So it's not, it's still off a little bit. And if I didn't show you it was off, you probably wouldn't have noticed it within the within the quilt itself. So when this happens, not a big deal. I'm keeping it in there. I'm not undoing this. It's fine. So how have you been? Fantastic. <laughs> Uh, I'm just bouncing at the uh, the emojis that are going across. I don't remember. Have you watched since I've added the emoji explosions and bouncing emojis? Yeah, see, it's something I've just added in the past couple of weeks after, I think I added it the week after TwitchCon. So for every new follower, every new follower, every host, every subscription, there is going to be like an emote explosion on the screen of my emotes, of the um, sewing machine, the thread and the needle. And then um, if you spam a bunch of emotes right now into chat, they're gonna bounce all over. So it's kind of fun. There are people that will just sit and play with the emotes, which is perfectly fine. And this is to the right, and I think I counted four. One, two, three, four, yes. So this one to free the top one. I think just one more pass of this and I should be good.
after these six are done, I just have four more rows. And then all of the rows, I think we're gonna call her Light Mage. All the rows of Light Mage will be done. Because the Black Mage inspired one we've called Dark Mage. So I imagine White Mage will be Light Mage. This makes sense. Because you want them to complement each other too. I, okay, yes and no. Yes, I love the chair. No, it's taking some getting used to because I'm doing this and then I get up and then it's like, it's it's like in my way. So I'm, I have to get used to having a chair that can spin and hydra, I don't know. I've got to get used to it, but I do love it. I see why these are better chairs than the other ones I have, but I, I love the other ones I have too. But the skulls are super cool. I really, really do like the chair. See, because I can turn around where before I'd have to lean and do this. Now I can just spin and do it. I had a talk with my mom while I was visiting them. And she said, there's no way I could ever, ever sit in a chair like that. Because for her, it's too hard because it's a wooden chair. Now the cushions are, are fine. The cushions are pretty soft, but they have structure to them in the back that forces you to sit up straight while you're sewing, which is an important thing to do. You never, ever, ever want to hunch over whenever you're sewing. Yeah, see, and I was looking at the gaming chairs when I was at TwitchCon, and I was really considering getting one, but then I couldn't, when I sat in them, I couldn't get used to it. But then, of course, whenever I gave away the chair for Arrow, and then I sat in this one, I'm like, oh, I have to have one of these. I have to have one of these chairs. They are freaking amazing. Yeah, see, it is, um, I think that's what this is. I think this is stiff foam, too. I really like it. And there's a compartment, so the chair actually flips up. So you have a hidden compartment in there that you can hide things. See, out of habit, I keep trying to turn... And I have to remind myself that no, 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 you have a chair that can turn and spin. Utilize the chair. I should definitely get through all the rows. Good. That's exactly where I wanted to be at the end of the night tonight. It's funny. I was just looking at that going, hey, we haven't had any new followers this, this uh, stream yet. But then I remembered yesterday we didn't have any new followers until two hours into the stream. And then we got, we got so close. We got four by the end. So close to a giveaway. is to the right. Move out of my way, chair.
and this is left. What I'm doing is I'm stacking them on top of each other into the rows that are going to get pinned together, just like what I did with the first six. Okay, and this is then to the right. This sounds less like chiptune mu music and more like um, 80s synthesizer music. This is, I've got a chiptune channel on, um, on um, Spotify that I'm listening to. This like takes me back to like Revenge of the Nerds whenever they get up and they've got the synthesizer battle. Bob and oh, oh, it's already there. Hey, we got treats. Treats. See, Marley's already here. Thank you very much for the bits. Come here, treats. Come here. All right, you have to come into the come so like into the bed. You know the drill. Thank you. Alfred, into the bed next to Soleil. Scooch, Soleil. Scoot, Soleil. Don't take the bed all yourself. There you go. Stay there. Good job, guys. Here's Marley and uh, Soleil and Alfred. Good job. Thanks. Thank you very, very much. Thank you for the bits. So, Alan, see ya? I want to make sure I pronounce your name right. Thank you very, very much for the bits. The doggies appreciate it. I know. Where are you going, Soleil? See, they like to come get the bits and then leave me, which is why we have the cat cam on all the time. Come here. You want to come sit in the bed? Come here, Alfred. You'll stay in the bed for a little bit. Come here, Alfred. Look, I've got a chewy for you. Oh, it's a good chewy. Yeah, that's a good chewy. You want to sit there for a bit? I know, you're very cute. I know, you're such a good boy. You are. Hmm. I'm thinking maybe I should flip the camera upside down. Let me do that. Let's see, dog cam, properties. Oops. Oops. Of course, now I flipped it. Now I messed it all up. There we go. Fantastic. I grabbed the Totoro pattern to make for my way for Christmas. I was thinking of some soft flannels. Oh, thank you very much, Faust Ragnarok. I appreciate the sale. Um... Flan soft flannels. Okay. The only thing that's different about flannels that I have seen is that the ends are going to fray more than normal. So as soon as you cut that fabric, you need to either um, use a... Oh my gosh, what's it called? It hems the edges. Oh my gosh, I can't even think of it. Um, 
Yeah, certain, yeah, my brain is not working today. But it's be careful of the edges of the flannel because they'll fray a little bit. And that's really it. That's the biggest thing you need to know. And then it's 100% cotton, so feel free to mix the flannel with other cottons. So if you can't find a flannel color that you really, really like, feel free to use a different color for a different fabric for something else. So I've done, I've mixed them before. We have some flannel, some cotton, and then the backing, feel free to use flannel as well. Um, you do still have to do a batting. So just because you have flannel, you still want to put batting in the middle of it whenever you do your quilting. So whenever you do your piecing and quilting. Okay, so now let's go back to changing the bobbin. husband's home. Yeah, and if you have any questions on the pattern as you're working on it or as you're doing it, let me know. I would be more than happy to help you. I mean, that's one of the reasons why I stream, right? And how many... They're very excited. My husband just got home. How many Totoros do I have in stock? I'm checking my inventory. So items, pieced. I think, I know I have at least one. Okay, yeah, I only have one. So that means I need to make at least one more Totoro before MAGFest. I will probably make two because I'm making um, a bunch of patterns that I'm actually setting aside and only bringing for trunk shows that I'm, I'm showing whenever I do speaking gigs. So I will be making the Totoro before Christmas. So probably towards the end of November, beginning of December is when I'll get to him. If you wanna make them at the same time I do. Loyal, Marley. <gasps> You're so loyal. Okay, let me go back to the cat cam since you guys all abandoned me. I know. I need to fix that. I need to fix the dog cam, but my um, keyboard is put away for my OBS, so I can't fix the, uh, the, the width and the height. I'll fix it later. They don't stay in the dog bed anyways, just whenever they get treats. <gasps> I know, you're so loyal, aren't ya? He says, no, no. What are you doing? What? Are you, what'd you just say? Marley, want to go walk? Oh, <gasps> going for a walk. Here, go, go for a walk, go on. All right, so I'm not gonna have the dogs for 10 minutes, so don't give me any bits, cause I can't, unless you just wanna wait until they get back for, uh, for treats. They're going for a walk with daddy. It's because I just got bits like two minutes before you walked in the house. Oh, okay, that's why. Yep. It's not that he doesn't want to go for a walk. He thinks that other things are going to happen. Okay, this is to the left. So for those of you that just popped in in the past 10 to 20 minutes, I am designing the next pattern. So this is the next one that's going to be released in December. It is based upon White Mage. We are thinking of calling her Light Mage. And this is to the right. I am almost finished with the rows. I still have four more rows to go. And then I will start assembling rows. Although I don't think I'm actually going to sew all the rows themselves tonight. I 
I'll probably do that tomorrow. <gasps> oh, yeah. <laughs> they, they do, Junie, don't they? Yeah, the dogs always think things are going to happen. Because, I mean, they did just get bits right before the, he got home, right? So, it's, um, if you don't follow Junie, you need to go follow Junie. Because she is an amazing streamer, cross-stitcher. And, yeah, no, she's awesome. And she's on my team. I mean, right there is reason enough. If you like naughty by nature, people. Where is these two? Okay, so let's see if I did these rows right. I screwed up the first six. And I had to redo some. Let's see if I got these right on my first try. Doesn't happen often. Okay, this one goes to the right. This is the moment of truth. This is to the left. Oh, it's not a matter of believing in me. Okay, this is not looking good. Okay, that's because I got them wrong. There and there. Okay, that looks that looks right. All right. That does not look right. Okay, hold on. This way. Okay, that looks right. <laughs> it's a matter of fix it, you know, figuring out which way it goes, right? Here, let me pull these over so you can see all the, the whole row. Okay, that actually looks right. So, it lines up here because this is the, if you look at the picture, this is the cuff where it kind of goes in and out. <laughs> if you're playing Tetris, it kind of looks right. Yes. You, I know, you right? You like that if you're playing Tetris? Okay, there we go. All right. So, how I pin my rows together. I find a seam where my, my one seam goes one way and my other seam goes the other way. So I want to try to match them right up. This is called nesting the seams. I want to find that junction and stick a pin in it. And then I'm gonna go back and pin open space. Because remember, you can never have too many pins. And then I'm just gonna move right along. Every time I find the junction of the seams, I put a pin and then I backtrack to put pins in all of the seams that only have one side. They don't have another to match up to. That is important that you pin down every single seam, whether it has a another opposite seam that matches up with it or not. Because if you don't, the seams could flip over. They can kind of, you know, kind of do a wink, wibbly wobbly thing as you're putting it in the sewing machine. And that's going to cause more bulk in your quilt top. So it'll be harder to quilt it. And, um... Ragnarok. I want to make sure I say your name correctly. I know. False Ragnarok. I'm like, I knew it was something Ragnarok. I played WoW, so I know Ragnarok. Um, false Ragnarok. And it's especially true for flannel. So if you do your pattern with flannel, you've got to make sure that you pin every single seam down. Wibbly wobbly, great Doctor Who here. <laughs> yes! Yeah, best of her. So, False Ragnarok's gonna make the Totoro out of flannel fabrics. I mean, how cool is that gonna look? So, yes, you either need Doctor Who or you just need an amazing screwdriver slash seam ripper. I keep it quite handy because I use it often. Wait, how did you get... 
Oh, G... What is a GLHF pledge? I just noticed that. Next to your name. Is that something new that I haven't read about yet? <laughs> it's not really a sonic screwdriver. It's just amazing like one because yeah, it's got, so this is the best thing about my seam ripper that I love. So I was talking before how much I love it, but I don't think I said why. So in the very top right here, this is actually an eraser that whenever I seam rip, I take this and I just do this and it takes all the thread out. So you don't have to have uh, tweezers to pull your thread after you seam rip them. That's a pledge that you don't rage in games. Oh! That is cool! A pledge that you don't rage in games. Yeah, no, flannel is is special. I mean, I work with flannel, but I've played with it enough to where it doesn't bother me. Okay, so strips are pinned, so I'm gonna move over and put it on my clothing rack I have here. That I normally have within shot of the camera, but I can't because I've got the, ca the uh, camera for the dog. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> Hence my Junie doesn't have it. Oh, that's awesome. So, Bustifer, you're saying that Junie rages in games? <laughs> uh, that's funny. So how did you get that? Did you go somewhere on Twitch in order to, like, click on that to take the pledge or something? You know, I like all the things next to my name. When did this, um, when did it start? Oh, 2016. That's pretty cool. Okay, why... Oh, because you said dong! I'm like, why did it say that I have to moderate your comment, Junie? Because you said dog. <laughs> uh, I've made my best friend a sailor blush at my words while PvPing, plus learned how to create swear as well. That gig giggity dong of a mother trucker cow pile. That's so funny. <laughs> it's still fine. That is fine. It is, um... It's really funny, so, because I, as you, I have a PG stream, as you know, whenever you had to click on the little things before you said anything. Um, so, I swear a lot when I video game. Like, a lot. Like, I am the worst. When I, so if you guys ever see me in person, if I drink, I am like a sailor. I will F this, F this, F, yeah, I, I swear so much when I drink. And when I play video games. So when I started streaming Splatoon now and then, it was very, very hard for me not to swear. Okay, let's move this up to... Now this one's gonna be a little easier to figure out because it's got a diagonal one. So this is the top one. Oh, I cannot wait. Okay, so slightly naughty. Over still. Okay, are you gonna get the next WoW? No, I haven't played WoW in a few years. So, oh yeah, oh my God. Okay, you know I, I sell at MAGFest every single year. You know I'm in MAGFest again this year. If anyone's at MAGFest and you want to go and, and steal me away if I'm not busy to go to go play the cabinets, I will so go play with you. I mean, yeah, that'd be so much fun. <laughs> 
That'd be awesome. Freaking love MAGFest. So no, I stopped, um... Does your iron have a kickstand? No! See? I always like it when people look at my iron and they're like, what's going on? So this is an Aliso. So it is a transformer iron. It actually has things on the bottom. So you, it actually has that little thing in the top and the things on the bottom that when it's a touch sensitive. So when you're not touching it, it pops up and it's faster for ironing and it's more efficient than a standard iron because it's always flat. I love it. I like my Aliso. So I stopped playing WoW I think about a year after I, st I started quilting. So it's been about six, seven years. Because I, um, I got just, I got so busy with this business that I just, I couldn't play anymore. It just took so much of my time. So what I'm doing right now is I'm double checking all of these pieces just to make sure it's all lined up right and it all looks good. Yeah, and I actually at um, six two seven. I didn't enunciate. <laughs> I'm not that old. So when I was at Quilt Market, yeah, no, it's expensive. This is, and there's a couple of different lines in it, um, but it it is so worth it. Like it is industrial. It so normally I go through an iron every like four to five months. I have to get a new iron. I have had this particular one now for a year and a half, and the one I had before that, I I had a really really long time, like like five six years. So it's they are definitely worth the money. Thank you very much, Raptor. I appreciate that. I, I will always take those age co those age compliments because when women get into their forties, they they like to hear those things. <laughs> so yeah, no, the um, oh, what I was saying about the Aliso. So I actually chatted with the Aliso people at um, at Quilt Market, and they said, and I was telling them about how. I always have my iron right here in the shot so you can see everything and I always I always laugh and I find it amusing and I love it when people comment on the iron like what is that thing why is that so when someone says hey are you burning your your mat are you sure I like to bring my iron whenever I go to sew-ins for my quilt guild but I have to protect it because the, the women that use it will then automatically try to put it up and that damages the iron and you don't want to do that. So I always have to put it like right next to me and watch it to make sure no one does that. Yeah, I bought one for my mom, a pink one for my mom last year for Christmas and she loves it. Okay, now this one's done. I will put this one away. And I grabbed that one, the one I had just previously put over there because I'm gonna use this to free the ones in here so I can pin them. Because again, I'm chaining. So I have something constantly in my machine at all times. broke. 
I hit my pin. And yes, this is a cheap machine. I do not have a automatic threader. I gotta thread it myself. Oh, that looks cool. The Ruenta. How long have you had it? how we uh, we start we uh, got into an iron discussion of all these different irons who was I I don't know if it was Imperial girl or someone else I was watching someone else we got into an iron discussion about all the different irons but you see how because it's already horizontal I just pick it up and go so it drops down and then I'm sewing and then or I'm ironing and then to put water in it, it has the little thing right here where I just pop it and pour the water in. I sold my Rowenta to my mom with the magic soul plate because I don't like the cream. Oh, you had to buy cream? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I don't have to get cream for this at all. In fact, I, oh, it's upstairs. I bought a, um, a, an iron plate, um, not plate, like a, a little wipe thing. It was only like $10. So on the bottom of my iron, so again, this is a year and a half old. So all of that burn mark stuff right there, it's easily gonna come right off with that, with the stuff that I bought. Yeah, see this one, the steam is pretty good. As you saw, I've been using it. I filled it up right before I started it. And I started at 4.30? Yeah, five to eight. Yeah, so I started at 4.30. That's the first time I've had to put water into it. So it's pretty good on steam too. Oh, it's the last one, I forgot to move this up. I'm like, why is this not working? Here's that, and this needs to go to the right. I'll move this over, that way you guys can see how it all lines up. This is her face! Okay. Yes, in fact, they asked me to be a part of it this year, but unfortunately, it, is, it was the same weekend as Gen Con. So I couldn't do it. Any sizing or clue or starch? Oh, that sucks. Yeah, this one doesn't at all. I mean, that's the little brown. That's probably for some starch and stuff, but. Yeah, I haven't had any issues. No, I haven't brought it down yet. Tomorrow night, I can show you some of the cool things that I got from Bo Nash, which is the company that I use for to fix holes in t-shirts. So they have some new products to help with ironing. So I picked up a bunch of new products that I really like. See, and that's one of the reasons why I like this iron so much is it's a good high quality iron, but it doesn't take a lot of maintenance at all. <sighs> why do I have a seam facing the wrong direction? There we go. And no, they do not sponsor me. <laughs> I always, um, I always like to be upfront 
and honest about the companies that I'm sponsored by. Um, at this moment, I am not actually being sponsored by any companies. I do get things free or discounted now and then, and I will always tell you when that happens. And I paid full price for that iron. I can get them through my distributor at a better price than you can get right now on the market, but I bought this one about one month before I got with my distributor. So I paid full price for that one. Okay, time to lay out the last four rows. So this goes over here. And that goes up here. All right, now comes the moment of truth. If my pattern was correct with the number of pieces that I told it to cut. So this is why it's important that I make my patterns after I do them before I give them to Nicole to make it all pretty, you know, for the graphic design. So the, basically she sits down, she designs the sprites, sends them to me. I sit down, I do the math, I do the pattern, and then I make it to make sure that all of my math and all my patterning is correct and then I give it on to her. I've already found a couple mistakes already. Yeah, that sucks of a pain to clean. I think, I think that would be a deal breaker for me because I'm actually a little bit lazy. I don't like doing certain things. If I can avoid it at all costs, I do. That's one of the reasons why my patterns are the way that they are because they're fast efficient and I can do a pattern start to finish in a day if I needed to, which is what my 500 follower um, stream is going to be. And so I'm going to do a charity stream making one of my patterns start to finish and then all the money I raise is going to go to a charity. And then someone that donates will then win that quilt. So I wouldn't say I'm lazy. Yeah, I'm not lazy. It's just lazy at some things. And here. Okay, so so this is going towards the background. So the next piece needs to go towards the brown with the black and brown. You know what, I'm gonna move this up a little bit. That way you guys can see better. Cause I only have four rows this time. So towards the brown. So that that way the seams are going to lock in and nest quite nicely. Black and brown towards the black. A three and a half background. This is going to go background black towards the black. A three and a half red. Okay, that's my last three and a half red piece. Hopefully I don't have any others. Okay, now here is towards the black, towards the skin. So we need to go towards the black with this piece, towards the black with red and black and then red and white towards the white Maybe three and a half white and then black background towards the background there we go okay seams point to the right so i'm going to pick up the right piece up over the left and pin it in place Now for this one, because I have a seam going to the left and the seam's going to the right, I'm gonna make sure that nests in there nice and pretty, and then I'm gonna pin it. So 
So if you've ever heard of a sewer or quilter refer to nesting seams, that's what that means, is that you've ironed your seams in opposite directions and they're going to lay quite nicely. Oh, I heard from Megan today, my friend that's the corset maker. She is either coming this Saturday, yeah, this Saturday, or the first Saturday of December to make corsets. So whenever she comes, she'll come, it'll be on a Saturday. And then we'll probably stream for, my guess is like about at least five to seven hours. It's not gonna be a normal three hour stream. Like we'll stream for a while. And that lonely little piece is gonna hang out all by himself. Next. Okay, towards the background. Brown and black. That's towards the black. So this one needs to go towards the black. And then a two inch black piece. And yes, I say this anyways, even if I'm not streaming, I talk to myself because it makes sure that I'm putting the right pieces out. Oh, dogs are back for their walk. Hi guys. Are you coming to see if you've missed anything? Oh, there's nothing there. I know. So dogs are back. I know, you guys are very good. All right, and then three and a half brown. And then a two inch black. So for those of you that haven't caught me since I've come back home again, I do have a set stream schedule again. It is all listed below. And then I will update my chat area with the topics. So if you wanna pop in for a certain reason, for to watch a certain thing, you can keep an eye on it. So it's all good when the fabric talks back. I like that, Junie. <gasps> Bits, we have treats. <gasps> Treats! Oh, here they come. <gasps> Treats! Oh, no! We got two sets of treats! Oh, man! I know! That means you guys get two treats! Hey, Usa, you have a gray, but it looks black 2008 Impala. Nice! Yes, happy puppies. All right, come here. Come into the bed. Alfred, Alfred, you know the drill. Into the bed. There you go. Uh, uh, back it up. <laughs> They're so excited because they went on the walk. Sit. There we go. Good boy. Stay. Good boy. Here's Marley. Alfred. Soleil. All right. There's one. Yes, you're going to get another one. Now we're going to get a different treat. We're going to get the heart treats. <gasps> these are the... I know, these are the nicer treats. All right, back in the bed. Come here, Alfred. Alfred. <sighs> oh, honey, it's okay. I didn't hurt you. I know, we aren't, you're not bad. It's okay. <gasps> I know, ready? <laughs> I like how you can see all three of them in there. All right, oh, Marley, honey, don't step on Alfred. There's Marley, Alfred, Soleil. I know, see, we got two treats. I know. Okay, let's move this, well, not that one. Let's move the doggy cam up just a little bit. As long as the doggies are there. I know. Yeah, I know. Thanks, guys. So thanks, I'll... Alan Sia, I think is how you say Alan Sia and False Ragnarok. I appreciate that. Thanks for the bits. And the doggies say thank you. Are you all done, Alfred? <gasps> yep, you're all done. You're going to leave me? Is daddy in the kitchen? I know you're not leaving me yet. I know. You want to look around, see if there's anything else, don't you, Marley? 
Nice job, Usa. Fantastic. I'm glad you found a car. That's awesome. Okay, dogs have left me. Back to the cat cam. Cat sleeping. All right. I know. Are you licking? Now they're hiding underneath my uh, my sewing desk, looking at me like, can we get more? You guys are very cute. All right. So where was I? This row. There. Okay. There we go. And here. Background. And this is towards the background. It's going to go towards the white, towards the black, towards the red, towards the red. Okay, nope, I am redoing this. Let's switch it the other way, because I don't. If I can avoid ironing, re ironing pieces and changing the direction of the seams, I am going to. So I'm just going to lay other pieces out. Okay, so now it's going towards the black. So I'm going to go towards the black. And this will be towards the red, and then towards the black, and then towards the black. <gasps> Did you get the job? Because I know on Friday you said you interviewed and it was, it was a, you thought it went really well. Did you get the job? Okay, and then towards the red. And white. Okay, and then, oh, I am gonna have to re-iron one of these. <gasps> Yay, congratulations! Welcome to being gainfully employed. That's awesome. Okay, someone give me an emote explosion because, yeah. So either, yeah, so you can either host and have the emotes go everywhere or you can um, just put a whole spam a bunch of emotes in chat because that deserves an emote explosion. That is awesome. Congratulations. So in order to re-iron the seams, I ironed the back and then I'm ironing the front. Okay, so then black on top, white on top, and then I need to go towards the background. And then the last one is here. Okay, and this one seems to point to the left. So I'm picking the left piece up over the right piece and pinning it in place. So yeah, so you didn't tell us that when you said you're going car shopping, you just said you're going car shopping. You didn't tell us the amazing reason behind it. Now the dogs are bothering my husband upstairs in the kitchen. <gasps> oh, look at all of those hearts. Did I miss it? Did they bounce everywhere? I totally missed it, didn't I? Oh, nope, there they are. Okay, fantastic. That, see, you guys are awesome. That is fantastic. See, people surprising me with awesome news yesterday, and then you give me some awesome news today. Oh, so when I did, I told I, I told you guys at the beginning of the stream that I gave an interview today for a lady that is um, uh, writing a paper on the um, on the relationship between streamers and viewers, and how you know, the different relationships with, um, with creative versus video game versus everything else. And I kept referring to viewers as fans and friends and family. And so, and I never once used the word viewer when I was talking to her and she kept saying, well, why do you refer to them as fans and friends? And I'm like, because everyone in my stream, I personally feel that they're part of my family that I 
you guys get to know me, but I also get to know you. And so we build relationships. And so whenever awesome things happen to you guys, it makes me feel really good. And I love it. So I like good news like that. Oh no, that is completely understandable because you now have a job. See, but that's one of the reasons why when my set stream schedule, I did it the way I did where I have two evening, two afternoon, one early morning, and then weekends are just gonna be when I stream, you know, when I can do it because people have different schedules. People live in different time zones. I wanna make sure that I'm able to stream to accommodate everyone that wants to be able to watch me at least once or twice a week. So. Because again, this is my business. I'm gonna be doing this whether I'm streaming or not. So it does not inconvenience me at all to change my times and to move things around and have a set schedule like that. I have some amazingly awesome news that I can't share with you guys yet that I really, really want to for patterns. I cannot wait. Probably like two more months I will have news that I can share. Okay, so it's towards the black. Oh, that's what I need to do. I have to do the heart. Okay. I know I'm such a tease. That actually reminded me of what I'm doing with the heart. It has to do with a, so, <laughs> I know I'm such a tease. Um, for those of you that were watching, I know Usa may have, I don't know if Usa, may have been before Usa. Um, I talked about doing a line of um, blocks that I'm gonna give out for free. So basically free patterns so that you can tell, can you make my patterns? Um, and I've partnered with someone for them, but I have to make an example first in order and make sure the pattern gets done before I can go to the company and present it in order to get the final word. So it's not, it's not a done deal yet, but it's possible. So I'm excited. So I've got to make it, it's just the first block is just going to be a heart. So I've got to do that. Oh, let me write that down. I've got to actually make the pattern heart. Okay. Yeah, I don't remember. It may have been before you start. But I don't know. I'm trying to remember. Was it before or after Dragon Con? Because... You started watching around Dragon Con time. That's what I'm trying to think. It may have been before Dragon Con. It may, I don't know. So you're like in every stream. That's why I'm like, I can never remember what I, t <laughs> you know, but things that have happened before or after you started watching. Okay, so one, two, three. Okay, so it's this. And then brown and black. And then brown. Uh oh, oh, nope, I do have one more brown. Okay, that's the last one. And I'm starting to run out of pieces. As you see, it's starting to get a little scarce over here, which is a good thing. Okay, that's black, so it's towards the black. This is towards the black. Okay, and then I have the single one here. And this one is going to be towards the red, so I have to do this one towards the background. So now comes the time where I actually have to 
plan ahead if I don't want to iron seams in different directions. So towards the red, this is going to be towards the white. And then this one, this one. And then, uh-oh. Okay, I had my first missing piece. So I need a black and white two inch piece. So let's see in my instructions. Black and white. All right, I said I had 16 of the two inch pieces. So I'm gonna recount them really quickly just to see. It looks like I need 17. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Can I drop a piece somewhere? Here's all of my extras. I don't have just like an extra little one over here, do I? Okay, there's, nope. Okay, let's count this again. All right, black and white. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17. Yep. 17. Mm. All right. So what worked? Something that I was doing or something that you did? All right. So I need 17. So my calculations are wrong. I counted wrong. I missed one. Okay. So I need nine sets for 18 total. And let's put my little things back. And then I need to cut another black and white piece because that's what I have to do when I mess up. And this is actually, my screen froze before I could find out, before I got an answer about the commission. I didn't see anything about a commission. Or were you saying before the, uh, my heart thing that I was talking about? Where did I put, oh, there it is. I was looking for my rotary cutter and straight edge. There we go. These go back. See, and I set aside all of the extra scrap pieces just because I never know if I'm going to use them or not. Okay, so this is going to be towards the white, so I need to go towards the background. And then background. Okay, and in this case, there seems a pointing to the right. So I'm picking up the right piece up over the left piece and pinning it in place. Okay, cool. If 
Fantastic. So you may be able to actually have the money around April. That's awesome. So right now, my commission I'm taking tomorrow for the t-shirt quilt. I am telling her she's going to get that in like February, March. Um, so the next one deposit that I take, it'll be March, April. Um, if you want, Usa, if you want me to design something for you and give you an idea of what it's going to cost, shoot me a message and I can at least get something designed and laid out. And then that way, you know exactly how much it's going to cost you. And I am going to be ending my stream in about 15, 20 minutes. So just a reminder, if there's anyone lurking, if you have not followed me yet, I love follows. I appreciate follows. And everyone watching, especially Usa, loves when I get follows. Because whenever I get to five new follows, we're going to do a giveaway for scrap fabric. And poor Usa has been in almost every single one of my streams since I started doing this, and she hasn't won yet. All right. Like that. And that. And this seems to need to go to the left. And then here. Oops. Now, let me trim this. It wasn't quite cut and I pulled it, causing issues. Uh, so I had to trim it. You're like the Chicago cut. You will win one day. Seriously, you will get, you will win one of my giveaways. Eventually. <laughs> So if we get five new follows by the end of the stream, as soon as we hit that fifth follow, I'm doing a giveaway. All right, that's towards the black. So towards the background, towards the black, towards the background, and that, and then this, and that's it. All the pieces are laid out. So you notice I have a bunch of single little pieces. That is normal because I always cut all of my pieces in twos. So there's if I have an odd number that I need for a pattern, you're going to have a single piece left over. So what I do is I take all these little pieces and I'm going to set them aside with my leftovers here. And then the next time I make a quilt, I'll use all those pieces. Okay, so this is, the seams point to the left. So I'm gonna pick up the left, flip it over the right, and pin it in place. I stopped and chatted a bunch tonight, so I don't think I will get through actually sewing all of the rows, like actually finishing all this off. So whatever I don't get done, I will get done tomorrow during the day, but then I'll stop when it's time to actually sew all the rows together. Because that is my favorite part of putting a quilt together, because you can actually see the picture come to life. There we go. All right. Uh.
I'm like looking at the list of people thinking, who am I going to host whenever I finish streaming? I see Moto is streaming. I may go, I've, whenever I'm finished, I may go host Moto and then pop in her stream for a few minutes because I'm considering doing a pattern. Now, it wouldn't be until like summertime, early fall, maybe in time for TwitchCon next year. I'm thinking of doing a quilt pattern of poop. For those of you that like my patterns, would you like a pattern of poop? I mean, you can make a rainbow poop. You can make a purple poop. It just seems that there's all this poop everywhere in Twitch. Yeah, no, and I, I love Moto. It's, I seriously love Moto. I met her right before the, um, um, the Naughty by Nature meetup that we had at TwitchCon. And she's so sweet. I got one of her little cross-stitch keychain things. And they're awesome. I love it. See, and I haven't had a chance to raid her or host her at all since I've, with my streams, because I've been so erratic with them. And it says she's doing creative, which means she's probably cross-stitching. For those of you that haven't seen it, this is my... Cutting gizmo. It allows me to separate my chained pieces super fast because you know I'm all about being fast and efficient. Yeah, if you haven't had a chance to see Moto stream yet, she cross stitches and she cross stitches a lot of poop. <laughs> and feeding a puppet cheese, it's yes. Yes, I noticed that too. It's funny. Did you, so when I linked the, um, the description of the cat that we applied for, did you guys read the description in that the cat will eat anything that you're eating and will ask you for it? I mean, it sounds like this cat thinks it's a dog, which is perfect. It's exactly what we're looking for. Yeah, poop. Like, it's, oh, wait until I, I, we move over to her channel. Like, she, she did designs, little cross stitches. That's like pictures of poop and they have eyes. It's like little piles of poop. I don't know if that's what she's working on tonight, but she works on that a lot. It's actually pretty cool. Because, you know, poop is funny. Oh, man. I totally just did that, didn't I? I didn't cut off the one before. So this is two rows. All in my sewing machine. Okay, so let's figure out where it ends. It's somewhere in here okay so this is between the second and the third rows okay so this is one of them so black okay that's the second row so the third row It'll have a brown. Okay. 
Hmm. Man. Okay, here. It's this one. I think it's here. <laughs> hey! Hi, Imperial Girl! How are you tonight? So, if um, you don't follow Imperial Girl, you need to go over and you need to shoot her a follow. So... Oh, let's go. S-O. Because I hate it whenever it doesn't do shout-outs. So, S-O. I was too busy figuring out all of my issues. <laughs> Imperial who? There you go. Alright, so go click on that. Follow her. She's awesome. I love her. She is absolutely fantastic. Alright, I think... think this is right. <laughs> hate it when I do that. I'm going to double check it. So if anyone just popped over from Imperial Girls channel, if you're watching on her stream, and all of a sudden I appeared... I am a professional video game comic book quilter. So this is what I do for a living. I tr make video game comic book quilts. I have my own pattern line. And I travel around to conventions. Selling all of my wares and patterns. Alright, so I'm going to double check this one because I messed this up. Alright, this is the second row. So, let's flip this over. Okay, and I'm ironing it this way. All right. Nope, that's not right. This way. There we go. All right. And then the last one. is there. Okay. Yep, that is right. Fantastic. I figured it out. I hate it when I make that mistake. I always, you always have to snip it before you move on to the next one. I hate it when I do that. Like, simple mistakes like that I make all the time. Again, do not let making mistakes keep you from trying things. Everyone makes mistakes. Now, it's almost to the end, so these are the last four rows of this quilt before I then start combining all the rows. So I want to free this one, and I've got a bunch of the rows that are all pinned together over there. So I'm actually going to start sewing those in order to free this. This actually saves me a little bit of time when it comes to actually sewing and combining my rows. I've already got some of the sewing done. Again, do as I say, not as I do. You're not supposed to sew over your pins. But I do. I really 
really don't care if I damage this machine, it's cheap. I do not sew over my pins though with my expensive machine. Because I do not want to damage my expensive machine. Although I do sometimes, and my machine repairman loves me. He has a, gets a lot of work from me. <sighs> okay, so it is after 8 o'clock. And I started the stream early, so I'm going to call it a night because I still have to go and eat something and I, we're going to go watch some Stranger Things. So I can't keep, I can't put that off because, you know, Stranger Things. Um, so yeah, thanks everyone for joining me tonight. I super appreciate it. Thank you very much for all the hosts and all the bits. I love you guys. You're amazing. And... Let's go. Who wants to raid? Because I wanted to raid yesterday, but I think people didn't understand what a raid was. So do people want to raid? I want to go raid Moto. So if you if you want to raid with me, now I'll host her. That's not a problem. I want you to go over and see Moto. But I want you to raid her too. I want I want spam. I want you to spam all the raid stuff. And I saw a new thing. I think if we do a raid there's a new thing here it says new raid chat command now available type raid channel this just started like yesterday apparently type the raid command makes it easier for you to start a raid and for your viewers to join you'll also have tools to manage raids and can see information on who recently raided their channel fantastic so <gasps> oh that is so super cool When the countdown ends, you and your raiders will be sent to the channel you're raiding. At the same time, people in the channel you're raiding will see chat message, your channel is raiding with a party of blank. That is super cool. Okay, let's try this. That is so super cool. Okay, you just have to join. So apparently you don't have to actually do the whole raid thing. Okay, so let's, so here is the, if you can raid with us, I want you to copy that. And you're gonna, whenever we get sent to Moto's channel, you're just gonna paste that over and over in her channel, okay? And so if you have the ability, if you're on a computer, copy that, you're gonna paste it in her channel. So let's see if this works. We're gonna do raid. And it says, raid. Okay, and then I type in Moto, Moto Ruxin. <gasps> Yay! Okay. No, no, if you can't do the copy paste on your phone, that's fine. So you're, you're gonna have it, so when we move to her channel, we are going to paste that into her channel. So I think, do you do the exclamation point raid to join? I don't know if you guys have to click join. It says that you guys click and it's only 30 seconds and then it's gonna take us over there. So it says, your viewers will see a pinned chat message with a join button in 30 seconds. So just click the join button. It looks like there's three of us. So click the join button and then we will all be sent. So awesome. So it's gonna send us in a moment. I'm gonna say goodbye. I love you guys. I will see you tomorrow night. And join, click join. <laughs>